I'm Emily Sande and I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to write a song. I was seven when I wrote my first song. I was inspired by all these amazing vocalists that just took you to this other world. Like when I listened to Whitney Houston, the way it would get to the chorus and she'd just start flying. I thought that was how do you write something where you take the audience with you like that? So um, yeah, I was seven and I had my little notebook and I think it was called Tomorrow Repeat. Something about, you know, if you don't learn from today, then today will be tomorrow. And I was really proud of it because I'd really, you know, studied the structure. I thought, okay, the verse, then you have this part that connects the verse to the chorus and I was just really happy and I showed my mom and dad and then from then on I just thought god I've got this cool little magical thing that just happens and songs pop up and I just I guess I got quite addicted to it I mean I think initially when I began songwriting you know professionally I was I was definitely looking for that magical formula okay how do you get this on radio how do you get people to sing along and um for people to like it and then after trying and trying to to work some kind of science out of it it just it doesn't exist you know the songs that just have emotion and the ones that you just get all the feelings out very precisely those are the ones that that seem to really connect because you're just laying yourself bare just like this is how I feel right now it's not great but this is how I feel When you write songs and in the heat of the moment this is amazing and everyone gets excited and then you listen to it the morning after and it's just it's okay um, but there's those songs that you just even when it's just a voice memo you want to repeat it repeat it you're on the train and listening and if I want to listen to it again and again then that's a good sign that others will as well so that's when I think okay I need to finish this or I need to re-record it think how I can make it bigger but it's usually just um, what's like ear candy I draw my inspiration from, you know, literally everything. It, there was a point where I was, you know, it was strictly music and musicians and, and, and it is great, you know, obviously to be inspired by fantastic musicians from, from all eras and genres, but, you know, art and people and just living and anything can be an inspiration for a song, really. So everything, like as soon as you close your mind off to one thing, then you limit what could come. It's a lot about bravery. So many people have great poems and songs that no one will ever hear because they didn't step out and just take the criticism or take, you know, it might be great, it might be bad, but if you don't know, then you can't move forward. So I think it's just having the bravery to be like, this is how I feel right now in a song. There's a song called River. And this started with the riff to begin with. And I just really liked that. And I thought, oh, it sounds quite like water. And then, if you're looking for the big adventure, I think that melody just came out. And how are you ever gonna find the sea? So follow me. It was those two lyrics. I was like, okay, I know it's about water. I know river sounds not, you know, and then where does a river lead? And it's kind of like connecting the dots, kind of discovering something that is already there. You just need to kind of unsurface it. That's how River was written. It was really quick and it was just kind of more as a lullaby and I was by myself at the piano and it was very visual. So I, I love writing in a visual way. Well, next to me, it wasn't so long, but we got, you know, next to me. And that was there really quickly. But then we're like, oh, we need something in between. There needs to be like, because there's too much space in between the next to me. So we're like, what about hoo hoo? You will find him, you will find him next to me. So that was like, um, that was longer just kind of perfecting it afterwards, but it was quite quick. Clown was a very, you know, thinky song, you know, because the lyric I wanted to be, we had the opening lyric. I guess it's funnier from where you're standing. Because from over here I miss the joke. Clear the way for my crash landing. I've done it again. Another number for your notes. And that was just such a lovely, well-rounded opening that from that point on, I was like, okay, the whole song needs to be at that level lyrically. So sometimes the first line just sets the bar for the whole song and Klein was a real pacing back and forth. What? No, that's not the right word. It's not the right, right way to put it. So Klein was a lot more like, Think, yeah, yeah, thinking. (laughs) 
You won't find him drinking on the tables. Rolling dice or staying out till three. You won't ever find him where the rest go. You will find him, you'll find him next to me. Stay brave, I think that's the big thing. Just always be ready to go and don't think about the negative. It could go amazing, so you never know. And um, stay open to people. Um, you never know who could, who could hear you or who could be a great collaborator with you. Um, I guess always believe that what you want to say is just as important as anybody else. If people might be feeling exactly the same way as you and want to express that, it can be a beautiful, very healing thing for other people. So don't give up. <laughs> Next to me. Woo. Next to me. You'll find him, you'll find him next to me.